All right, the next argument is that it seems like many social rules are obviously determined by local standards. Uh, so, for example, which fork do you eat the salad with? You know, you eat the, it always goes like the smallest, the biggest, or I don't remember exactly what the rules are. Um, I never had cotillion, right? Uh, but uh, they, there's some rule that if you use the wrong one, then it seems like you've offended people. Or um, there's also local laws, you know, uh, some places it's it's okay to pull a U-turn in certain places, and some places it's not. Um, and these seem to be totally arbitrary that, that those societies, those places decided here, this is what we're going to do. And because of that, they are uh, totally based on the society. And so them being wrong is totally based on the society. Therefore, cultural relativism is true. But of course, you can always find some way to explain these things and be a moral realist and believe that there is such a thing as objective moral facts. Um, you know, you can say as an objective moral realist, yeah, of course, there are etiquette rules and those aren't moral rules. You know, <clears throat> another an interesting uh, second uh, response would be that um, although the, those etiquette rules themselves are depend upon uh, the society, there is a more general rule that is not, which is, you know, the the moral rule of always um, acting politely, however that looks in a society. So how it looks in a society might be specific to the society, but the acting politely in general is not specific to the society. It's moral objective fact.